New Year's Eve on BBC Two. And the cult thriller Mad Max. Look any longer out on that road and I'm one of them. A terminal crazy. Mel Gibson is Mad Max, New Year's Eve at five past ten on BBC Two. Now on two, we have a chance to share the magic and music of Simple Minds in a concert recorded at their hometown of Glasgow earlier this year. On Thursday evening, there's a film profile which includes concert footage of supergroup U2, recorded in 1987 during their sellout Joshua Tree tour of the USA. That's U2, Rattle and Hum, on Thursday evening at 11.50 on BBC One. New Year's Eve on BBC Two. What's a comedian? Nothing's funny! What's funny? I just want to feel something! I want to believe! I want to throw back my head and go, yes! Ruby, 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 I love you. I love you. You're not alone. I'm not or you're not. <gasps> Are you okay? You can see my chakras? Mm-hmm. Take a spiritual trip with Ruby on New Year's Eve, 8.55 on BBC Two. Now on to a look at what's in store weather-wise for New Year's Eve with Bernard Davy. Hello, 1991 was rather uneventful as far as the weather is concerned. Very few records broken, but I suppose we'll all remember it for something. Perhaps the cold spell in February, the shortage of rain in the south, the late summer, or more recently the bad spell of bad fog during December. Figures are a little bit slow coming in for 1991 because of the holidays, of course, but we do have them for Glasgow, and as far as they're concerned, 1991 turned out to be wetter, slightly sunnier, and slightly warmer. The weather over recent days has been rather quiet, but we're in for a bit of a change now as we approach 1992. The satellite, the global satellite picture, picks out a lot of cloud over the British Isles, and then this thicker band of cloud is a weather front. And there we can see it closer up. It's pushing in quite steadily towards the British Isles, Ahead of it, you can see a lot of cloud over the British Isles. There were some breaks over Southern Ireland, the Channel Islands, and over northeastern Scotland. But these are all tending to fill in now as this thicker band of cloud moves in, bringing its rain with it. So with high pressure now, it's slipping away. The isobar is increasing, so the wind's picking up, the cold front crossing the country during the next 24 hours or so. And then the floodgates are open for a spell of fairly wet and uh, windy weather, especially over the northern half of the country. There's the high pressure now, just moving across the English Channel. And here's the band of rain, heavy at times at first over Scotland and Northern Ireland, and then turning lighter and patchier as it comes south. And then a bit of a hiccup. It'll take its time to clear away from these more southern counties. At the same time, the next lot of rain into northern Scotland. Lots of isobars, strong to gale force winds. And the winds are already on the increase here in the west, becoming quite gusty. They'll pick up to gale force strength tonight. Ease down for a while tomorrow before they pick up once again. And this time, they're likely to be severe gale along the west and northern coasts of uh, Scotland. Through tonight, then just one or two breaks in the southwest, some breaks running up through Northern Ireland into southern Scotland, but a good deal of cloud, the cloud at times thick enough to give the odd spot a drizzle. One or two mist and fog patches over the hills, and then later in the night, the heavier rain getting into the Outer Hebrides, the winds picking up to gale force. Tomorrow the rain continues to feed across Scotland, Northern Ireland, down into northern England, Wales and the southwest, but here it'll be much lighter. It'll be followed by brighter weather and some showers. Ahead of it there could be the odd brighter interlude, but there could be some rain ahead of the main band of rain, which will gradually feed through the Midlands into East Anglia and into the southeast. Brighter in the north, but the clouds thickening up once again, the next lot of rain ready to spill into western Scotland. So a fairly windy day tomorrow, especially for the north, winds up to gale force at times, even in the south will be quite breezy. Top temperatures ranging between 7 and 10. 10 is 50 Fahrenheit. And then a New Year's Day, more rain crossing Scotland, Northern Ireland, then returning backwards late in the day. For the south, some drizzle around these coasts, but fairly mild, some brightness in the east. 
and for Europe as a whole, well, if you want some sunshine and a quiet spell of weather and pretty warm, then into southern France, Spain, Portugal, or North, Af uh, North Africa. That's it from me. Good night. Turn the sound off, and I'll tell you what I think of the referee. You've seen the 1991 Rugby World Cup. Now here's the video diary. It took quite a while to get a hold of that manager and get the um, that interview arranged, and you blew it. The pair of you. Totally and utterly useless. Booze, barbers, bores and brilliance. Kevin Allen tells it as it really happened. Friday, 7.45, on two. Could I just ask you if you think England have got any chance of winning the World Cup? England? And this is the look of tomorrow evening on two, which begins at five past six with the comedy and romance of Ingmar Bergman's ravishing production of Mozart's pantomime opera, The Magic Flute. At 8.15, in a change to the published program, we have an assignment special, looking back at this dramatic year in the life of the Soviet Union, Moscow Year Zero. Then at 8.55, Ruby Wax embarks on a spiritual journey in search of the meaning of life. The first of our evening films at five past ten stars Mel Gibson as tough cop Mad Max, pursuing gangs of vicious nomadic bikers on the intercity highways. And then at 11.35, we have a spoof rock documentary which records the comeback tour of Britain's foremost heavy rock band in This Is Spinal Tap. And this is New Year's Eve on BBC Two. And it's time for us now to close down for the evening. However, if you'd like some music, on Radio One, it's Lynn Parsons, and on Radio Two, it's Bill Reynolds with Night Ride. But on behalf of everyone here on BBC Two, this is Manju Mali wishing you a very good night. <laughs>